Now, talking about accusations of racism, I want to bring to your attention the <sighs> ugly face of woke, far-left hate and hyperbole. Samantha Foss berated her own father, who had lost his battle with cancer, at his own funeral in front of his loved ones. Why? Because he was a cisgender white male Trump supporter. I missed my fantasy of you. Because when you died, it solidified the fact that you'll never be what you could have been, but only what you are. And what you are is a racist, misogynistic, xenophobic, Trump-loving, cis-straight white man. Oh, it got yeah. worse than that, far worse. She said she wouldn't miss him, but she'd gladly take his money and make the world a better place. Yeah, good luck with that. You know, we're really allowing the most putrid, ugly souls to believe they're morally superior. We've allowed them to think that because they identify as victims and push some twisted notion of race and gender theory, that they are progressive when they really are nothing but bile-filled, race-obsessed miscreants. Now, the young woman who gave that hideous speech is Samantha Foss and identifies as non-binary and uses they, them pronouns and describes herself as a black supremacist. The New York Post has since revealed, far from being some tragic victim, she is a pampered princess brought up in the lap of luxury. You see, the father she trashed at his own funeral was billionaire Donald Foss, the founder and former CEO of Credit Acceptance. According to the New York Post, Samantha attends a university in Georgia where tuition fees are around 57000 per annum, that's US, and she lived with her mum and dad in a $7.3 million mansion. Now, Samantha does identify as a black supremacist, but she is mixed race and a supposedly irredeemably racist father not only dated black women, but married one and had children with her. And her father was a philanthropist who created the Don Foss Annual Scholarship Program and awarded more than 630 scholarships to students. <coughs> but apparently because he is a Trump supporter, he deserves to be smashed and humiliated at his own funeral. And for the record, the ungrateful racist daughter is the one who posted that video to TikTok. Not only did she choose to hurt her family at the most vulnerable moment, but she wanted to earn social media cred for it. Owen Strawn, a professor of theology, summed it up with these comments about that viral video. He said, this is a perfect parable of what wokeness begets when it takes you captive. Hatred, unrelenting self-righteousness, no graciousness, no kindness, moral superiority, needless division and a rancid despisal of people who do not share your views. Perfectly put there.